As so many celebrate throughout the weekend, law enforcement wants to make sure everybody stays safe. So that's why local agencies are targeting anyone who's driving impaired. Sasha Loftus joins us live with the latest on this weekend's initiative. Sasha? Denise and Brian, 8 News Now spoke with a woman today who lost her husband in what police are calling a DUI crash. Officers say they want to prevent anyone else from experiencing this same kind of unnecessary pain. I kept expecting him to come home. Joanne Arisman is forced to face devastation few could ever imagine. They said my husband didn't even know what hit him. He died instantly. Steve, her husband of nearly 20 years, died in a crash right near their home on Tuesday. Police say he was hit by a man speeding and driving under the influence. When people that drink and drive, they say they're not going to do it again, but they do. Joanne says her life will never be the same, and she's one of so many affected here in Southern Nevada. In 2021, Metro Police say 50 people lost their lives in DUI crashes. There's no excuse ever to drive in cares. As we head through the St. Patrick's Day holiday weekend, Trooper Ashley Wellman with Nevada State Police says local law enforcement agencies are joining forces to target impaired drivers. So we'll be out there in numbers, um, really. Um, present to try to make sure that we can prevent any fatalities from happening. They hope these efforts to promote safer roads will keep others from experiencing this same kind of suffering. I'm just going to miss my husband for the rest of my life. The Joining Forces initiative targeting impaired drivers continues until this Tuesday, March 22nd. Now, Nevada State Police will host another initiative in April targeting distracted drivers. Reporting live tonight, Sasha Loftus, live, local, now.